Welcome to the Vendor Training Course, Assessing a Property's Structural Damage. In this course, I will discuss how you assess and report structural damage. Let's begin. When inspecting a property for damage, it is important to examine the structure of the property. You will want to look at the main dwelling and all structures. You should inspect the property's exterior first and then move to the interior. There are many types of damages you should look for when inspecting a property that could be signs of structural issues. On the exterior, the first type is foundation cracks. These can usually be found on the exterior of the property, but may be seen on the interior of a crawl space or unfinished basement. Cracks in the foundation can worsen over time and lead to an unstable structure. This is especially an issue in colder climates, where water can enter the cracks and freeze, causing expansion between the cracks. Another type of damage to look for is missing mortar between bricks or blocks. When mortar is not present, this makes it easier for water to leak into the foundation, which could cause erosion. As mentioned before, this tends to be a bigger issue in colder climates where water can freeze between the bricks or blocks and cause expansion in the cracks. The expansion will force more space between the bricks, leading to an unstable structure. To prevent further damage, you will want to repoint the bricks. By filling in the space, water will no longer be able to seep in. Sagging of the roof ridge could be a possible sign of structural damage also. To check the roof ridge, stand back at the curb or across the street to get a full view of the house. You will then be able to see if the ridge is sagging. Also, check to see if the patio and carport overhangs are missing any structural posts or columns. If posts or columns are present, make sure they are intact and vertical standing. Another type of damage you will want to look for is leaning walls. All walls should appear vertical. To ensure they are, stand back from the dwelling and look at each individual wall. You will also want to check that all doors and windows are operating with ease. If they are not lined up or rub when operating, that could be a sign of possible structural damage. On the interior of the property, you should check for major cracks in the drywall, unstable floors, and cracked or deteriorating interior headers over doorways. Make sure low bearing beams are in good condition and intact and check the integrity of all staircases. Also look for missing structural columns in the basement. In some cases, columns may be missing due to renovations to allocate more space. When columns are removed improperly, the property will experience structural damage either immediately or over due time to insufficient support. If damage is found at the property, provide a detailed estimate to repair. The source of the damage must also be properly identified to prevent the damage from worsening or occurring again once repaired. When placing a bid, include the following information. Detailed description of the damage location and source of damage, total linear or square feet, necessary materials, number of man hours needed to fix the damage, and any additional equipment needed. I hope you found this course to be helpful. To learn more about damages at a property, view our additional damage-related courses.